Hello everyone, welcome to this class. Today we will be looking at guitar types and parts of a regular guitar. So by the end of this class it is expected that every pupil should be able to identify the three common types of guitars. It is also expected that each pupil should be able to identify common guitar tunings and at least identify at least five guitar parts. So let's look at the types of guitars that we have. There are three common types of guitars, generally three common types, okay? The first of them is the classical acoustic guitar. Usually this classical acoustic guitar has nylon strings. In some cases it is called the Spanish guitar. The second type of acoustic guitar we have is the steel string acoustic guitar. In some cases it is called the folk guitar. And finally, we have the electric guitar, okay? Now, of course, there are hybrids that exist amongst these guitars, but generally, these are the three common types of guitars that we have, okay? Um, I'm not going to play this video. If you'd like to see the video, please head over to the LMS and um, um, click on the slide, the PowerPoint slide that has been provided. Okay, so we're looking at guitar types. The first one, as already mentioned, is the um, classical acoustic guitar, also known as the Spanish guitar, right here. And the second one is the steel string acoustic guitar, also known as the folk guitar. Now you might wonder, I say, what's the difference between both of them? They look so much alike. The difference really is in the headstock. Um, first of all, this one has nylon strings, almost as though the strings are made out of rubber. And so generally this is a much more quiet guitar. This one has um, steel strings and the sound is brighter, okay? But the, the, the most obvious difference, you, if you look at the headstock of both of them, you see this one is totally closed and this one is open. So for the classical guitar, it is open. But if you look at the headstock of the steel string guitar, you see that it's totally closed, okay? And of course, finally, um, just before we go on to the final type of guitar, I have a quick quiz here. Can you identify this type of guitar? If you have been listening, it's pretty easy. The guitar right here is the classical acoustic guitar, also known as the Spanish guitar. How are we able to tell? Again, if you look at the headstock, you see that it is open. And this type of guitar right here is known as the steel string guitar. Okay. The third type of guitar we have is the electric guitar. Almost everyone has come across an electric guitar. You see rock stars rocking on this one. So that's the electric guitar right there. Of course, I'm sure we all know that this is the electric guitar. Okay. So moving on. Let's look at guitar tuning. How do we tune the strings of a guitar? The strings, do they have names? How do we identify them? Again, I'm not going to play this video, but please, if you'd like to see the video, head over to the LMS. The um, PowerPoint presentation has been put up for you. Okay, so this um, picture you see here represents a guitar fretboard, and these would be the strings, okay? Now, usually we we'll count from the thickest string or the string that is topmost and go all the way down to the thinnest string, okay? As you can see, the thickest string here has a thick line while the thinnest string has a thinner line, okay? And that thickest string is usually string 6 and the next one after that is 5, string number 5 and the next after that one is string number 4 and the next after that, right after that, is string number three. And right after that, we have string two. And finally, at the bottom, we will have string number one, which will be the thinnest string, okay? So those, those are the names of the strings. How are the strings tuned? They are tuned to various pitches. And those pitches are what we have here. E, A, D, G, B and E. In other words, string 6 is tuned to a low E, string 5 is tuned to an A, string 
string 4 is string tuned to a D and so on and so forth okay now you, it might be a bit challenging for you to remember those names but there's a simple reminder we use okay there is a simple reminder we use okay and that reminder is simply eat a darn good breakfast look at it right here it says eat a darn good breakfast early i'm sorry i forgot to include that one. so eat a darn good breakfast early and that can help you to remember the tuning of the strings so i have a quick quiz here for everyone this string marked x is labeled as what do you think is it should be labeled